Sunday and it is a super happy Sunday over here on Scottish Go Off Grid. Woo! <laughs> we have just been for a mega dog walk and we've been going every single day, which obviously to walk the dog, but it's amazing just to get out in the fresh air, rain or shine, and we're just discovering new little pockets of our land. So it's, yeah, it's amazing. We've had a lovely weekend. It was my birthday. So we went She to old. <laughs> um, we went to the newbies for a barbecue and to another friend at the weekend. So yeah, it was really lovely. We've got plans for this week. I don't even know what the plans are. We're going to concrete the first tires on the posts. Yes, it's meant to be sunny and dry. So we're going to do some concreting. I'm going to get back down in the vegetable patch because it's basically my favorite place on earth. Um, and hang out with the children and take you along with us. So let's go. I have got um, a half of a bottle, yeah. a juice bottle. Uh, we all so have one. It from the greenhouse. Yeah. And <laughs> we've put some toys in to race it down the storage water. Oh, good idea. I've got my Barbie. Wilfred's got some cars. I've got a She's got an octopus. That's a sink. Yeah. Sink. Right, let's go try it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe open the lid, see if I can see him through the... Okay, okay, okay. Be careful of his feet. See if he doesn't drop out. There's Mr. Toad. Oh, hello, mate. <laughs> He's like staring at me. <laughs> uh, do you want to go back in the stream? Can I hold him? No, because he won't hold him. Can I hold him? 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 <laughs> Crumbles has been carried around like this since, well, the day that we've had him. He absolutely loves it, didn't he? Last bit of coffee and time to get on with the day. Kayla's on a school run, taking the children to school. Put put. Are you ready for work? You ready for work this morning? So the plan today is I'm going to get the cement mixer out <clears throat> and we're going to put the first bit of concrete in the first tyre at the bottom of the post. You may have noticed I came back without the cement mixer. That's because I forgot the key. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, 
put you, how did you get in? Through the dog flap. So what I've done with the tires is I've just dug them out a little bit and leveled them so that when we put the next tire on top, they will be, you know, look like they're nice and level. And then inside I've put this rebar, which sits slightly above so that the concrete can go under and then bind to this and bind to this and it'll make a really nice solid footing. And I've done that with all of them. And then we'll make a decision on the roof because it's a little bit open at the moment. Right, cement time. I, I feel like a proper builder. I've never done any cementing. Well, you won't want to do any more. <laughs> right, so as it's my first time cementing, yep. you're going to have to teach me from the basics up. Well, we need to make everything wet first so the cement doesn't stick to everything. Yeah. So even in here, inside the cement mixer, we can make it all... Also, side note, that is a solar cement mixer. Solar for well. <laughs> Not <It> solar. Is, <laughs> it's, it's running off solar. It's running off solar. That's exciting. It doesn't have its own solar panel. That would be oh, cool. It's an idea. That is a really good idea. Oh my gosh. Gotcha. We're going to be millionaires. Yeah. So, we need to get some bags of cement ready. Uh, under here. I said earlier. Be a shovelful, so it would be five shovelfuls of sand and ballast to half a bag. But I think you'll get ten shovelfuls and a full bag in and get it mixing round. Okay, cool. and then you add water to the right consistency. But okay, right, that's a visual. Okay. Bar that Kayla's pushing into the first tyre, push them about halfway in, and then when the concrete goes off, it will be solid. And then when we put the next tyre on top and cement that one, half of the rebar will be in the bottom tyre and half of the rebar will be in the top, which will link them together and make them a bit stronger. And don't forget, in inside there, we've got that bit of rebar that goes from one side to the other that's tied to the rebar that goes in the ground and up. So that makes, should make a really strong solid base. I am so proud of myself. I just made my first batch of cement all on my own and concrete. Cement is in the bag, concrete it turns into. Brought it over, put it in. Okay, we nearly had an impromptu patio halfway through because I nearly dropped the wheelbarrow, but I feel super chuffed. I'm just coming to put the rebar in this one. And when I said to Kayla to scratch the surface to key it in for the next load on the next tire, I meant hatch it. And she's put some lovely love hearts for me. <laughs> so we're sat down having our lunch break. Firstly, shout out to all the labourers that used to work with Badger. <laughs> Savage! <laughs> I'm knackered! Um, we've decided on the roof. 
pitched roof, I yeah. think I think it makes sense for water collection and solar, which was our original idea. But then somebody threw in the mix about having a decking area, and then we're like, oh, that could be a really cool idea. Um, but yes, I think I think practicality has won. Definitely. And thank you so much for all your comments. We had literally so many comments, really amazing, some really amazing ideas, loads of advice, lots of people saying they've had flat roofs in the past and it's a nightmare. And loads of really good points that we were thinking of a decking area, but we have so much space here that it does seem silly. It's better to use it for practical reasons like water, like rain collection and solar collection. Yeah. So pitched roof, but slightly less Le less of a pitch less of a pitch yeah so it doesn't take up too much of our kind of because one of the concerns view. is stood on the terrace above looking that way would just get roof yeah so if we reduce it we should be able to see over the top like a balance of best of both worlds yeah exactly so on with but the pitch roof what what are we going to put on it i think we should use um recycled tiles like Red original tiles. Yeah. portuguese tiles yeah so it not, matches the not house tin. Well, it depends on cost. What do you guys and think? And what we can find. Tin or tile? Tin or tile? Next question. Tin or tile. Whoa, I see it. British builder. Cup of tea? <laughs> I'm getting well into this concreting. What have you got in there then? Explain. So I've got five shovels of my uh, stuff. Of your, of your ballast? Ballast. Bag of cement. cement. Yeah. <laughs> then I put water. Yeah. More of that. More of that. More of this. Mix and what's, it. And what's your mix? Five to one. Yeah. Plus water. <laughs> what have you been doing, Badger? Not been doing it. I've been cutting the rebar. Oh yeah. Slacking, I reckon. What a day this has been. Every single tire is cemented, rebarred and ready for the next layer. Good teamwork, babe. Good teamwork, well done. <laughs> what did you say? And today we have our first strawberry. Really? Huge over the night. Look oh, at they're these. doing so well. And look at the green beans, they're all coming up. <laughs> look at these ones. Careful with them. I like this one. Look, mummy, these are peas. The peas are growing them quickest. They're doing so well, aren't Betsy, they? But I mean, look at that. They should be going in the ground by now. I don't think it was a freaky monster. After school job, isn't it, Boo? <laughs> yeah. What's this one, Mummy? That's Trixie's splinter tree. Oh, uh, yeah. Trixie, what's that that you've got there? My splinter tree. What happened? Uma? Yeah. Your mum? My mum, yeah. <laughs> she takes my splinter out. Out of where? My hand. Yeah. She took it out. I was really sad and I was happy because it grown into a tree. Yeah, so Uma took the splinter out of your hand, which made you super sad it hurt didn't it but then she said let's plant your splinter and see if it grows into a tree but it did and then it did and what tree do you think it's gonna be i think it's gonna be an orange tree an orange tree because look at the leaves yeah they look a bit like an orange tree don't they be gentle with it yeah because it's really precious it is really oh, precious mommy. And you said you kept saying to mummy, can I have some more splinters? Didn't you? Yeah. Because <laughs> they grow into cheese. Yeah. <laughs> good morning, good morning. I feel like spring has arrived. All the trees have got their little buds that are exploding. The sun is warm, I can hear the birds. Just feels like one of those good, beautiful spring days. All the children are at school. Me and Badger just had a walk around planning where we're gonna plant some trees, which was lovely. 
And um, now, before we plant the trees, I'm gonna do a bit of work in the veggie patch. So I bought these, this watercress at the market the other week, and it's, it's still in its little polystyrene tray. And from everything I've been reading, I love watercress, eating watercress, but I've never planted it. And apparently they love water, hence the name. Um, and we have this tiny little spring that comes out under these rocks. I don't know if it's a drinking spring or it's just some like overflow water, but it's been going all winter and it was here in September. So I was planning to plant the watercress around here and hopefully it will enjoy its new little home. idea. I'm going to plant half up by the source of the water and then I'm going to dig this little um, river through down here onto a little patch over here, I reckon, and see which one does better. Here it comes. Okay, this might work actually. Right, now I'm gonna dig this bit away. Here we go, impromptu water, water feature. I think the watercress would be super happy here. But like I say, this year is all about experimenting. So let's pop them in and see. So even though we've got the veggie patch down there, which all the vegetables are in one area, I love the idea of being able to kind of walk around our land and pick stuff as we go. So having these little watercress up here and some more down there, I think, yeah, I think it's going to be a nice addition. Um, and it looks really pretty actually. You can see I've done some little channels coming from the water, so I'm hoping they'll all get enough water. I have to say that's definitely been one of the most fun jobs of the garden so far, making the little streams and making little roots for it. Yeah, it's been really good. Oh, the sun is out, it's so beautiful. Um, I've been doing some boring admin, computer, editing, etc, etc this morning um, and Kayla has been busy, busy down at the polytunnel. So I thought I'd have a break from the screens and go down and see how she's getting on. Um, I hear word on the street is that it's straw in the strawberries and I think watercress. Let's go see. So as we're coming down the first terrace, I notice something straight away. She's channeled the little stream across here. So that's coming from a little spring and it goes all the way across this little terrace to the pole. Oh, hi. hi. What's this little stream about? Come okay, I'm coming. I'll take the shortcut. Go down here. Whoa. Whoa, busy bee. Yeah, man. Talk me through it. What have we got here? Oh, wow. Bit up there, yeah, and made a little channel beautiful for the watercress and with then, your enchada. I'm not even gonna say or shoshola. <laughs> we need to get it clarified by professionals, yeah. Well, we've had lots of clarification, we just need to learn how to say it. <laughs> I see, look, your little spring comes down, yeah, and then this is all watercress. Oh, wow, so I'm hoping it's gonna be enough water. For, well, I think it is enough water for them, and the spring, the water carries them here. Yeah. My plan is to direct it to each vegetable bed. Great idea. And then just change the direction as and when it's needed. Yes. Brilliant. And, and you've I'm strawed your strawberries. Strawed my strawberries. Brilliant. Who knew strawberries like straw? <laughs> or maybe they're named after. Yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks really cool. I love it. Honey, I love your Peter Rabbit. 
strawberry patch. It's amazing. Thanks. <laughs> Can I, should I just call you Mrs. McGregor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or it's Mr. McGregor, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Are you as grumpy as Mr. McGregor? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> How about I've just been blown away by my incredible... Incredible. <laughs> incredible. Incredible vegetable patch. We're going to go and... Is an onion for lunch? Oh, it's just so too close for onions you at lunch. You're growing more onions for lunch. <laughs> you don't smell so fresh yourself. Sorry. Anyway, we're off to plant some trees. Trees! Woohoo! Soon to be olive oil. <laughs> In about 50 years. <laughs> um, so we got these beautiful little baby olive trees at the market the other day and our plan is to plant them up the sort of border of the road up the border of the drive up here so let's do it you're looking very professional badger with your massive salad pinchers <laughs> My post digger. The po is that what they are? Post, post diggers? Post digger, yeah, for fences. Perfect for planting trees. The olive trees are really hardy. They can grow in sort of all sorts of arid conditions. So I'm hoping, even though this is spoil from when we did the driveway, um, there's plenty of nice soil underneath. So a little bit of compost and stuff on top, and I keep them watered. They should a bit of TLC, flourish. and hopefully, us... when we've got grandchildren, <laughs> we'll get some olives. <laughs> yeah. Oh, until then, they can just look nice. Yeah, exactly. All right, one down. Ten more to go. Oh, do they look amazing? They look cool, don't they? Yeah, it's kind of like, I don't know, framed the road a bit. Framed it and it's also put our um, stamp a little bit on Yeah, exactly. The land. So Antonio told me when you put it in, to sort of jiggle all the roots out, loosen them up out of the pot, and then wiggle them in, push down firmly like that, and then make this bowl round them. This kind of, yeah, I suppose it's a bowl. So when you feed them water. <laughs> oh <dear>. Sorry. <laughs> Bit of a nose dive down the bank, darling. You're pulling out all my new grass. <laughs> I just saw a bottom sliding down. No, don't start digging. I'm going to put my own tree in. Don't start digging, madam. Pudding, you're not planting trees. Pudding. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, you create the bowl. So when you feed it, the water goes back into the tree rather than sometimes when you feed it and the soil hasn't had much water in it, it just runs off the top. Yeah, because we've got so much granite here, as you can see, that if it hasn't rained for even like we've noticed even if it hasn't rained for like a week yeah the water just runs off just so it's good to top. try and catch it i guess so hey, yeah. look. give them a glug of water now and we have a olive entrance oh we're so fancy so fancy <laughs> i got these boxes i've got like six boxes i think it was of pollinator garden because we've got some super exciting news Ooh. We are going to get bees soon, hopefully in the next couple of weeks to a month, I think. We're going to get the hives. Um, our friends are coming over to help us and I am buzzing about it. <laughs> it's going to be an absolute hive of activity. Oh my gosh, honey, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> nice hand drum bit at the end, I like that. <laughs> anyway, I want to basically cover our whole land in be friendly inviting flowers for when they come that would be um, nice it would be nice <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah hopefully they'll be very happy <laughs>
next week we've got a really fun week actually we have got friends and family coming to stay throughout the week so we're going to take you along with us we're going to porto for the day we're hopefully going to go up the duro river, duro yeah, river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um so yeah some fun things happening and and more stuff on the land more stuff on the land of course work never stopped and next week please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification button if you want to get notified thank you bye, Say bye. bye. bye.